Hello, you are watching E News Bulletin of IPR Department. I'm Cheering Eden. Let's head straight to the news that have been making headlines this week. According to the latest update on COVID-19 cases in Sikkim provided by the State Health Department, a total of five positive cases were reported by the end of the day on Thursday. The total number of active cases is now 104, total cured and discharged stands at 5,752 and total confirmed cases still date stands at 6,084. 74,110 tests have been conducted so far and 133 persons have died from the disease. Currently, there is not a single person admitted in the ICU and no COVID-related death was reported on Thursday. It has been informed that 455 healthcare workers from all four districts were vaccinated by Thursday evening. Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Thamang today inaugurated the newly established Pema Rinzing Lama Football Academy at Yangsum, West Sikkim. The new annexure school building of the same school, the Cancer Care Center at Jorthang Community Health Center, South Sikkim, as well as a branch of State Bank of Sikkim at Lakeship, West Sikkim. It is to be hoped that these facilities will provide some form of relief and assist the public of these areas, saving their time and resources. The Chief Minister's social media update informs that in the coming days, similar facilities will commence in other parts of the state as well. The Department of Animal Husbandry and Veterinary Services distributed 170 Banpala sheep to the farmers of four constituencies of West District in a special program organized by at Dentam on Thursday. Minister Loknath Sharma distributed Banpala sheep to the 34 beneficiaries from Yuksam, Tashiding, Manibong, Dentam, Dharamdin and Gelsing, Boromoy constituencies, West District. Each beneficiary received five sheep along with financial incentive of Rs 3,000 for construction of night shelters and feed supplements with the provision of a sheep insurance for sickness from incurable disease. The minister urged the beneficiaries to rear and conserve Banpala sheep with proper care for breeding so that the state government can purchase for further distribution and sheep farming. The distribution program was held under the scheme of National Livestock Mission. In other news, there is no dearth of talent in Sikkim where the students continue to excel in every field. Here are three examples this week. On Thursday, Ayush Ranjan, student of Rangpur Senior Secondary School, was felicitated by Chief Minister Sri Prem Singh Thamang at Samintok Gang. Ayush Ranjan has been awarded Pradhan Mantri Rashtriya Bal Purushkar 2021 for his innovative and app development. Instituted by the Ministry of Women and Child Development Government of India, this award is India's highest civilian order given to exceptional achievers under the age of 18 years. Ayush also received Inspire Award, Kalam Drishti, Technophil Awards, amongst many others. During the felicitation program, the Chief Minister said that Ayush is an asset of a state and assured that every possible support would be provided in his career development. Another Grace Sundas, a student of Tadung Senior Secondary School, East Sikkim, secured the third position at the national level competition for Kala Utsav, which began virtually from 10th of January 2021 and concluded on 23rd of January 2021. In the valedictory come award ceremony that was graced by Ramesh Pokhriyal, Union Minister for Education, Government of India on Thursday, teams from all the states, Union Territories and Kendriya Vidyalis took part in the competition. Sikkim managed to secure third position in the newly introduced concept of indigenous toys and games. Kala Utsav is an initiative of the Department of School Education and Literacy, Ministry of Education, Government of India to promote arts in education by nurturing and showcasing the artistic talent of school students in the country. Arnab Biswas, a student of B.Tech Computer Science and Engineering Department, Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology, has bagged the most lucrative job opportunity in Commvault, one of the highest respected American data management software company having global footprint. A press release from SMIT Majitar informs that the company is offering a staggering salary compensation of rupees 24 lakh per annum, which he will receive from July 2021. In addition, the company is supporting Arnab Biswas with 40,000 rupees per month as stipend during the period of February to June 2021, while the student is in his eighth semester program. 
The press release further informs that Sikkim Manipal Institute of Technology, located at Majitar in East Sikkim, has been able to provide multiple career opportunities to its engineering students graduating in July 2021. Despite recession in economy and shrinking of manpower requirement, SMIT, due to its exceptional caliber in talent building as highly skilled engineers, has attracted multiple MNCs who are handpicking soon to become SMIT engineers and offering them job opportunities. India's latest daily count of cases of COVID-19 witnessed a sharp spike as 18,855 new infections were reported as per the Union Health Ministry updates this morning. In its previous day daily count, the country had reported 11,666 cases, meaning that the latest spike is nearly 7,200 infections higher than the previous one. Number of recoveries from the disease is closing in on the 10.4 million mark the ministry's dashboard showed. Death toll crossed the 1,54,000 mark as 163 fresh fatalities were reported. Active cases meanwhile slumped below 1,72,000. The latest figure also shows that a total of 29,28,053 healthcare workers have been inoculated thus far. India is using Oxford University, AstraZeneca's Covishield and Bharat Biotech International Limited's co-vaccine against the disease. This is all we have for today. Please like and follow our Facebook page that is the Government of Sikkim. Official page for the most authentic news and information on recent developments in the government and the state. Please continue wearing masks, wash your hands regularly and maintain safe distance while heading out as our fight against COVID-19 continues. Thank you for tuning in. Thank you.